Dee? One of Queen Elizabeth's closest advisors? Everybody knows that. Yeah, yeah, he was a great mathematician and navigator. Okay, way ahead of his time. He's probably the one who invented that. Seriously into the occult. I mean, like a really creepy dog. Yeah, see, way. he signed all his letters to the Queen with this symbol, meaning he was her eyes. The original 007, you see, look, 007. Not really that relevant. So it was John Dee who sent Drake to Arabia? Yeah, it looks that way. Dee and Elizabeth. And Walsingham. Great, but what for? Well, that's the million-dollar question, isn't it? And this is where T.E. Lawrence comes in. See, before Lawrence became Lawrence of Arabia... Great film. He was an archaeologist. And even when he was just a kid, he was obsessed with history. Everything to do with knights and the Crusades. And he traveled all over, documenting every Crusader site he could find. It, it's all in here. All right, you've lost me completely, kid. What the hell has this got to do with Drake? I'm getting to that. See, after the war, Lawrence said that if he were ever to go back to Arabia, it would be to search for this place he called the Atlantis of the Sands. Now, the legend crops up over and over again under different names. Ubar, Aram of the Pillars, the City of Brass. But the story is always the same. Well, city of immeasurable wealth, destroyed by God for its arrogance, swallowed forever in the sands of the Rubalkali Desert. Right here. Well. <laughs> I like the immeasurable wealth part, anyway. And you think this is what Elizabeth and Dee sent Drake after? Oh, yeah. And more importantly, it's what Marlowe is after. So, wait. If Drake was on a mission from the Queen to find this place, why all the secrecy? I mean, it looks like he went to a lot of trouble to hide whatever he found, even from Her Majesty. I don't know. Oh, oh, I'm sorry, what was that? No, hang on a second, because if you recall the last time we went halfway around the world searching for a lost city, things got more than a little dicey. Yeah, but this time we have the upper hand. I mean, look, Drake only had half the clues. Lawrence only had half. We have both. And Marlowe has nothing. Small problem. The Rubalkali Desert, 600 miles across. The Bedouin go around the damn thing. And even if we knew where it was, which we don't, we would die trying to find Just it. Just hold on. You see these symbols here? Yeah. Looks like Sabian script. Sabian script. Right. Look, the Crusaders were searching for the same lost city a thousand years ago. But out of all the sites Lawrence documented, only two are marked with these symbols. One in Syria, the other in France. Oh. No, you two are going to Syria. We're heading to France. Look, we track down these clues. We find Lawrence's lost city. I'm sure of it. Well, and then what? How are we going to get across 600 miles of impossible wasteland? Well, it's in the middle of the desert. So technically, it'd be about 300 miles. Oh. <laughs> Look, I don't know. We'll figure it out. We burn that bridge when we get to it, eh? Exactly. What do you say? What the hell? Let's do it. <laughs> the line, I guess. Don't. <laughs> Looks like we're going the rest of the way on foot. <laughs> what? Leave it to you to find a friggin' jungle in the middle of France. <laughs> well, we're definitely headed in the right direction. Chateau should be this way. Not too far. Come on. Not too far. <laughs> With you, I never know if that means a quarter mile or 20. Like that time you got us lost in Peru. Oh, you really want to bring up Peru? <laughs> you are not still holding that over me. I was 15, Sully. Should have known when I met you that I'd be in prison within a year. <laughs> you were headed that way all on your own, if you recall. <laughs> Besides, I got you out, didn't I? I always get you out. Come on, through here. There it is. 
Just like in Lawrence's notes. Gotta have more faith in me, Sully. Of course, I don't remember this ravine being on the map. Ah, they must have just put that in. All right. Come on, we'll find another way around. Hey, is that a pan flute? This way. Watch your step. Who? I don't know, kid. You sure we're in the right place? This doesn't seem old enough to be a crusader castle. Looks more like Renaissance to me. You haven't been reading my books again, have you, Sully? <laughs> now, Lawrence says the original castle was built in the 11th century. The rest was added on later. Now, this looks sketchy. Ooh. Ah, what are you waiting for? I loosened it up for you. Yeah, that's the problem. Look, Sully, your first car. Oh, man. That's a 1927 Auburn. Yeah? What's this, Mr. Wizard? Lawn art. Pretty tacky. <laughs> Now, the knight who owned this castle, Lord Godfrey, returned from the Crusades in the 12th century. Now, according to Lawrence, all that's left of the original castle is the square keep and the gardens. If Godfrey brought any secrets back from Arabia, that's where we're going to find him. Try this door. Ah. It's no good? Not getting in this way. I bet I can climb up through that hole. I bet you can. Let me guess. You're going to sit tight. Smoke a cigar again. Yeah. All right, don't burn the place down. What about that window above you? I don't want to cut myself. Nice going, kid. Be right back. I'll be waiting. Ah, <laughs> oh, crap. Oh, that hurts. Hey, kid. Up here. It's chained shut. All right, back up. I'll shoot the lock off. Make sure that's the only thing you shoot off. I said lock. You good? Okay. We gotta make our way through the chateau to the gardens. That's where we'll find the old keep. Oh man, look at this place. Yeah. No. Nope. Can't get it open. This damn beam's in the way. Yeah, we gotta get some leverage. Think you can get up there? I can try.
Wait, this will work. Looks like those chandeliers are on some kind of pulley system. Yeah. Must be how they lowered them down to clean them. I have an idea. coming out of the ceiling. machine. Okay, let's see if we can find a way to that tower. Nate. Square tower. Looks pretty old. Yeah. That matches the one in Lawrence's notebook. That must be it. Nice. Thanks. Looks like we can get through here. Yeah? Yep. Come on. We got it. Watch it! Oh, nice. Hey, Nate. Is that the same symbol that was on the tower? Yeah. That's gotta mean something, right? Maybe a secret passage? In a fireplace? Kind of on the nose, don't you think? Yeah, too simple. Hey, check out these suits of armor. Wait. Lawrence made a note about something like this. Yeah. Here, see? Four knights. With an axe, a shield, a sword, and a morning star. Just like the ones in this room. Maybe we gotta turn each night so it's facing the right way. Yeah, but what's the right way? A secret passage. All right. Got to hand it to you, Sully. Okay. I'll push, you pull. On three, ready? Wait. One, two, pull, or one, two, three, pull? 
Just pull. Got it. Eight. Hey, you all right? Yeah. Yeah, I'll live. There's no way I'm getting back up there. I'm gonna head this way. Just meet me on the other side. You got it. You be careful down there. Right. Hope there is another side. that noise? I should be able to get through here. Should be able to climb up through there. Piece of cake. Oh, oh crap. They're here somewhere. Hunt them down! I gotta warn Sully. They brought a small army.
Thanks for the gift, boys. See that coming.
Up this way. Come on, Sully, give me some help with this door. Way now. I'm not really sure. Why don't we try going down? one of Talbot's men. Was? But that's impossible. They just got here. Yeah, but what could have happened to him? I have no idea, but I sure as hell don't like it. Hey, look at the tiles. Sabean script. I'll stand over here so I don't step on any by accident. Good idea. Did Lawrence make any notes about this? Let me check. It's dark in here. Want to give us some light? Sure. Ooh. Looks like some sort of laboratory, doesn't it? Hey, a little more light, Sully. You got it. Hmm. Seems to be an alchemist lab. Pitch dark in here. Want to give us some light? Sure. Oh, looks like some sort of laboratory, doesn't it? Hey, a little more light, Sully. Seems to be an alchemist lab. Wait a second. Does this place remind you of anything? Yeah. Marlowe's creepy hideout, now that you mention it. Sully. Sully, this is John Dee's lab. All the way out here? In France? Well, he must have traced the clues back to the Crusades, just like Lawrence did. Hey, look at this. Sabian's script again. But what are these symbols? Looks like he was trying to work something out. There's some sort of message written here in a Nokian script. Think you can decipher it? I'll try. 
The altar guards the entrance to the underworld. Huh. Well, he did use magic to conjure spirits. Yeah. Or the altar could be hiding a secret passage. Oh. Right. Help me push. Crafty old bastard. Why, thank you. Not you. John D. Oh. Well, you're crafty, too. And old. <laughs> oh, here we go. Sully, give me a light. Much better. You know, one of these days you're really gonna have to start carrying your own matches. What are you talking about? Whoa. Looks like they really wanted to keep something out. We're in. Yeah, give me a hand with this. Looks like the family crypt. Your pal Godfrey must be down here then, huh? With any luck. If he knew anything about the Atlantis of the Sands, he took it with him to the grave. So let's find the grave. Exactly. What is this? Medieval game show? <laughs> Pretty elaborate. Yeah. Let's see. It looks like he was trying to solve this, but he never quite finished. Anything? He doesn't seem to be in any of these crypts. No. Now they would have hidden his tomb. Keep looking around. Free, I presume? The one and only. <laughs> this is it. Here, hold this, way. Sure. <clears throat> Look, it's some sort of amulet. There's something written here. right on top of Lancelot, huh? Uh-huh. It's in Sabean script. Well, that'd be from ancient Yemen, all right? Yeah. Exactly where Francis Drake would have landed back in the 16th century. Could be the name of a city? Yeah, from 3,000 years ago. Without the rest of that inscription, we still don't know where to look. Well, let's hope the other half is in Syria. Yeah, and the Cutter and Chloe can find it. Huh? 
I wouldn't recommend that. Shit. <laughs> nice work, gentlemen. Harris, please relieve Mr. Drake of the artifact. Yeah, Harris. Come get it. <laughs> now it's hardly worth dying over, is it? Your friend doesn't think so. Come on, Nate. seems to be dying out. Good luck with that. God, what a dick. Right? You gotta find a way out of here fast. Stay close. <laughs> <laughs> 